What's up, you guys? It's Levi here. Wowzers, a medical and military electronics manufacturer, Kim Chunk, that makes nuclear modules for the US Navy, was hit with ransomware back in March of 2020. But get this, not only were those systems inaccessible on their network due to ransomware, the hackers, or what I like to call pirates, stole the data off of the network and are holding that for ransom as well. Now that's nuclear, right? <laughs> All right, so today I'll be talking about this incident and what you guys can learn from this incident so that you guys can help protect yourselves and your organization. All right, so this is gonna be my top ransomware video for March of 2020. Anyway, for those of you guys that have watched my channel in the past and have been keeping up with my channel, um, you know that each and every single month I talk about the top three ransomware cases from that month. Well, I'm cutting it down to the top one ransomware case from that month. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I realized that these videos were getting so long and it was hard to keep it entertaining and keep it informative um, with the length of the video. So I'm hoping with just doing one ransomware case a month um, it's more entertaining and you can guys can get a lot more knowledge out of these videos so that's what i'll be doing from now on um, i'd like to hear from you guys though leave a comment down below on what you guys think um, do you like this new format would you prefer to stick with the old format of three incidents per video or would you like me to split it up and still do three incidents and do it at over three different videos let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, so this Cumshuck company that makes a bunch of electronics for the military was hit with ransomware earlier in March of 2020. Is it me or does this company's name remind you of nunchucks? I keep thinking of this scene that's often Napoleon Dynamite. You know, I got like nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills like the pirates <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of this were you guys thinking the same thing i know i'm kind of weird uh, but if you thought this was funny or you guys were thinking the same thing smash that like button the organization refused to pay the ransom which is amazing and i always encourage that well the pirates got mad of course and uh, little did the organization know that they had stole data off of their network and the pirates started publishing that data out on the internet or what I like to call the interwebs. Payroll records, broker approvals, purchase orders, you know, as an organization, stuff that you wouldn't want out there on the internet. But hey, maybe ransomware isn't always such a bad thing because for the organization's employees, they can finally see whether they're getting underpaid or not compared to their colleagues. And maybe this will promote some competition for pay so they can get the pay that they deserve, right? So maybe ransomware isn't such a bad thing. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend getting into this field, <laughs> and I don't recommend it personally. All right, so the good thing is that none of the data that was leaked out on the interwebs uh, was confidential data, but unfortunately there was some data um, that was leaked out on the internet that was related to nuclear sales, and which is a bad thing that the government probably doesn't want out there because anything that's nuclear related is really sensitive, and if it's related to nuclear technology for like a submarine or something like that, um, you wouldn't want your adversary being able to see what's being sold and what our capabilities are. So that definitely wasn't a good thing. Um, so unfortunately in this situation, because Kim Chuck um, is a government contractor and they're involved in the military, um, they kept pretty hush hush on the information that they would give out past this. The key point that I wanted to make to you guys is that ransomware is no longer just encrypting your systems um, to the point where you're not being able to access the data off of those systems without restoring from a backup or paying that ransom, it's starting to become a very, very common practice of ransomware for these pirates to steal the data off your network while they're encrypting those machines and then hold your data up for ransom and put it out on the interwebs if you don't pay that ransom. So ransomware is be 
you have so you have to start treating ransomware as a data breach and not just a ransomware breach all right so as i've said before you you don't want to pay that ransom i don't care even in this situation by paying the ransom you're encouraging the pirates um so you keep putting out more ransomware out there and people stop paying the ransom the ransomware is likely going to go away because they won't have any incentive to pay that to put that out there anymore and the best practices are instead of paying that ransomware is to prevent getting that ransomware in the first place and there's three different things that you or your organization can do to help yourselves protect yourselves from ransomware the number one thing is uh, phishing training uh, phishing is one of the most common ways that ransomware gets deployed throughout an organization's network um, and so you want to be train you want to be going out there and looking up the latest phishing trends each and every single month so that information can stay in your mind and you're seeing that and luckily i come out with a video each and every single month that talks about the top three phishing scams that i've seen out there on the internet every month and you guys should be keeping up with those videos i'll put a card up above that you guys can check out the latest one from march of 2020 uh, by keeping up with those videos, it gives you the equivalent of a vaccine so that you can see that stuff and it gets stuck in your head so you're less likely to fall for those phishing incidents. That will be really helpful at a personal level. At an organizational level, organizations should be pushing out phishing simulations each month and phishing training each month. Um, the number two thing that can really help you out with ransomware is to update your devices and software. Um, this is at home and at an organizational level as well. So for you home users, if you have an old computer that you can't apply updates to it anymore, go get a new computer, right? Um, if you have Windows or Mac, uh, make sure that you're keeping your operating system up to date and then any type of software that you have on that machine. And then one thing for home users is to make sure that you're updating your router because that's one of the most common things that people aren't updating and it's one of the most vulnerable things that um, can get attacked because it's connected directly to the internet where the pirates can hit that. So, and then at organizational level, you wanna be updating all of those things on a mass scale as well. Um, and then finally, number three, make sure you're following the 321 backup strategy. So if you get ransomware, you're able to recover from that ransomware and don't have to pay that ransom, at least to get into your machines. Um, I have a video about this so i'll put a card up above that you guys can check out if you don't know what it is and i'll put a link down below in the description so yeah following all three of these these steps here will tremendously help you or your organization from getting ransomware um, and keep in mind it doesn't matter how big your organization is it doesn't matter where you're at in the world and it doesn't matter what type of organization you are if you are connected to the internet, you can get impacted by ransomware. So make sure that you're taking these actions and helping protect yourselves so that you don't become a victim of ransomware. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Make sure you're leaving comments down below of what you guys think of this video, what you guys would like to hear more of, things like that. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe button, and hitting that notification bell to promote this content on YouTube so more people like you can see this and help protect themselves and hopefully have a little bit of entertainment while they're learning information on how to protect themselves. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a fantastic day.